Are you in the military getting ready to PCS to the Colorado Springs area? Then this video is for you. I'll watch it to get all kinds of information about what you need to expect. Hey guys, really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to say really fast, if you haven't done so already, number one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. We put at least two videos out a week and I want you to stay updated on all the new videos we have coming out about the area so that way you can stay in tune to what's happening, things to do, and check out all the cool stuff out here. Also, I wanted to say, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to call us at our team number, 719-266-2725. You could also email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. And that's any questions with anything whatsoever, uh, whether it's real estate related or just coming out here to visit or moving to this area, anything you've got question-wise, or even if you've got something else that you want to uh, just mention that might be a great video uh, to be able to do that you haven't seen yet, please, 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 please reach out. Uh, you can either call that number at 719-266-2725 or shoot us that email at info at jdmret.net or you can also post a comment in the messages below and we will absolutely get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all those. We serve as this area, we live in this area and we represent this area. We love working here. So hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so today we're talking specifically to our military members that are coming in and they're PCSing into the Colorado Springs area, whether it's Peterson Air Force Base, Fort Carson, or Shriver, or any of the other small NORAD or different places up Cheyenne Mountain. We have lots of different areas and different things that kind of take place. I hear the Air Force Academy is another big one too. So we've got lots and lots of military here. So first of all, I just want to say thank you and thank you for your service. This is coming from one retired veteran uh, to another. And uh, I just wanted to let you know what you get uh, when you move into this area is a lot of veteran support and a lot of veterans through this area. So I've been here, I was stationed here. This was my last duty station um, and, uh, and I retired here, which it happens to be for a lot of folks because when they move here, they just don't wanna leave. But I'm gonna go over some important information for you specific to PCSing here to the Colorado Springs area that you might need to know if you haven't heard already. So first of all, if you're coming in here, just know you're coming into a very competitive home market. And I know for a lot of you, you might be moving out of a competitive home market, but this is no different. It's going to be very competitive what's happening. So you just need to make sure you're planning ahead and you're starting to talk ahead to the, the folks that you're utilizing. Uh, give us a call if you need to, just to let us know like, hey, I'm coming in, I'm six months out, this is what I'm hoping to do, um, so that we can start planning and making sure that you are set up for success out here so that that way when you do come in, we're, we've got everything lined up and we try to make it as smooth as possible. Now, for one, I know, because I've done this a lot of times, it's very difficult sometimes to be able to actually get here yourself to see the house that you want to move into before you actually move out here. So if that's the case with you, um, we do do a lot of different types of video packages for our buyers that are coming out so that they can get as much information as possible and understand what they're moving into. Uh, Cause a lot of times pictures just don't show it. They don't show the flow of the home. They don't show a neighborhood very well. There's a lot of things that just don't show up well in photos, but we can walk you through video wise. Now, if you're down in the Fort, uh, Carson area, that's on the southern portion of Colorado Springs. It's down closest to Fountain, um, down off of I-25, and then anything really further down than that, the next big city you get to is Pueblo uh, down there. So you've got some very different changes with the way the terrain and the way the environment kind of feeds out with the Fort Carson area compared to up at the Peterson Air Force Base area. The Peterson Air Force Base area, you're kind of on this eastern portion of town. It's really grown so much around that area that it's not kind of out there on its own is attached to the Colorado Springs Airport. It's on the north side of that airport out there and provides you a lot of different neighborhoods and stuff on the, the center portion of Colorado Springs as well as to the north Colorado Springs. Now, regardless of where you're stationed out here, you need to know and be careful where you're actually deciding to live. Um, Cause I know I've got friends that decided when they came down here, they decided to go to Monument and live up in the Palmer Lake area, which is a beautiful area, absolutely gorgeous area, but they didn't realize what that was gonna do commute wise or time wise for that. And they ended up spending about 45 minutes 
uh, on a commute just to come all the way down to the Fort Carson area. For the Peterson Air Force Base area, it wouldn't be quite as bad, although you still have to get off I-25 to get over to Peterson Air Force Base. Now, the easiest way to move back and forth in Colorado Springs is on the I-25 corridor. When you start going uh, out to the east, you're going to have lots of different traffic lights you have to deal with out there. Unless you're out at Mark Scheffel and you're at Mark Scheffel, you can get to both bases very easily just by shooting around uh, and, and utilizing that as kind of like a back way to kind of get into some of these areas too. So some cool things to kind of see too, like within Colorado Springs. If you've never been out here before, so we got Fort Carson that's down on the south side. You got Peterson Air Force Base, which is about as central as you can get for a base uh, close to the to the center part of the, the greater metropolitan area of Colorado Springs. And then Air Force Academy is on the north side. Now, all of these places have their own facilities. They've got their BXs for the Air Force Academy. They've got their PXs for the uh, for Fort Carson area down there. They've got golf courses. They've got all the different stuff you'd expect to see at some of your major bases. Um, so you can absolutely plan on seeing a lot of those different things. And we do have a lot of folks that do decide that when they move out here, they want to keep and hold on to their home to rent it out uh, because of the amount of inflow and outflow that we have with soldiers and airmen out here. There's quite a bit of it and they're very successful with it. Just know you're a long-term landlord if you end up doing that. And then other folks that decide to sell. The really cool thing is, is when you get close to these bases um, and it doesn't matter if it's been a hot market like we just came out of or more of a normal market like we're in right now, you could really sell your place really, really fast when it's time to move. That's kind of nerve wracking sometimes, depending on what bases you're at. I mean, it could take months sometimes to sell your place uh, before you can actually buy your next place wherever you go. Here, it's usually very quick and very easy because typically you're buying in a very, uh, medium, very average home price on there. So you're not getting too extravagant, too crazy. And there's the highest population that's looking for those homes in those areas. Now I will say when I was in, it was the same way and it has improved a little bit, um, but not a whole lot. Uh, you need to plan on BAH being a little bit lower than what the cost of living is going to be out here. I'm going to say that when we moved out here and we PCS out here, we came from Fort Rucker, Alabama, lower Alabama, and our BAH was like $200 more a month than what we were getting in lower Alabama, where you could buy a home for 150, 175, sometimes $200,000 down there uh, that your BAH will cover. And you come out here and you're gonna be looking in the close to the 400s, if not already in the 400s for a single family home out here. So just plan on that as well. Um, there are a lot of occupancies, a lot of times on post as well with the on-base housing. If you've been in a while and you've done on-base housing, it's like most on-base housing. Uh, if, if you're like me, I did not want to live in on-base housing ever again after I got married and my wife and I didn't do that. But that might be the solution for you and your family if that is what makes the most sense for you guys as well. Um, so some other things um, that are really cool about this area. I did not know um, and we weren't sure because we had heard a lot of information about living up in the mountains and how that drive down could be just awful coming down the mountain. That wasn't really the case. So a lot of the impression I've gotten was 20 plus years ago on there before a lot of these different uh, systems that they have in place for like snow removal and making sure the pass stays open. You pass the pass stays open pretty much year round. I've got lots of buddies that live up here near me. I'm in the Wilden Park area personally up here too. Lots of buddies that live up here also. I've also got lots of friends and lots of clients that have lived in the Northern Colorado Springs area. In the Northern Colorado Springs area, when you go from Fountain North, usually as you pass 24, um, which I believe is exit 142, I think. I don't know, I might be having the exit number wrong on there, but it's it's highway, it's highway 24 off I-25 and you continue north. The further north you get, the newer a lot of Colorado Springs get. That's where the growth area is in Colorado Springs is going north. Up closer to the Air Force Academy, that Northgate area, Interquest, Voyager, a lot of brand new nice homes going up there. A lot of really cool places to shop and eat and, and, and just check out um, are up in that area. So don't be surprised that that's an area that you're ending up in quite a bit just based on going and checking out different things up there too. Um, pretty much anywhere you go in Colorado Springs, you're going to have your own little niche of stores to, to shop at, like your grocery stores, uh, your Costco's, your Sam's, your Walmart's, all that stuff will be pretty close to where you're going to be anywhere in the Colorado Springs area. Um, and uh, and you normally don't really venture out of that unless there's something special, like you want to go to Shields or something like that along those lines that'll actually pull you out of those areas. But definitely something to take a look at, definitely something to actually research to figure out where you want to be um, out there as well. Um, 
just be careful as you get into certain areas. And, and if you're interested in some of these, I can definitely tell you there's definitely places where you can get involved with more hailstorm issues than other places just because it just kind of attract it based on how the thunderstorms kind of build out there. There's also um, places we actually have a place called Goat Hill Mesa, uh, which is kind of interesting because it's some of the neighborhoods up there, like they're told not to go outside barefoot. Um, because that's where they had a lot of old dump stuff from a chemical gold mine uh, for stripping the gold out of it. But now they've built homes up there. But definitely want to know about those areas so that you don't end up in one of those places that could make it hard to sell your house uh, when you decide to leave um, and want to make sure you get a good place. There's lots of great places to live, but it's definitely important to know where you're looking and what those nuances are, especially on the front range because we have all kinds of different things that could affect homes in different areas. Um, that, that could actually affect the value or affect your ability to get that VA loan out there too. And we want to make sure that you're able to utilize that as well. So for all those PCSing out here, um, and those that are looking at folks on my team, um, myself, I'm retired army, 20 plus years in the army, uh, infantry, and then helicopter pilot coming out. And then, uh, we got other members on our team also, um, that are spouses, um, that have been involved with the military quite a bit also, um, that can actually help and they know and understand they've been through these same steps that you guys are going through right now. And we really want to try to help it make it as smooth as possible because this is a really cool place to get stationed. Um, and there's so much fun stuff that's here to do, uh, that, that you can go out and check out with the outdoors, which most military members absolutely love the outdoors. So I hope I get a chance to, to help you guys, but I really hope you guys get a chance to enjoy being here in Colorado. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I just want to say again, really quick before you send off the page, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell down below. Uh, that keeps you updated with all the new videos that we got coming out each week. And also, if you got any questions whatsoever for us, we are local uh, experts of these areas and we are local uh, real estate agents within these areas. And we love helping people out. We got people calling us all the time uh, for these, but please just call us 719-266-2725 or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. And we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time.